good morning students right today topic uh, female reproductive system in previous class we completed a male reproductive system it exhibit sexual dimorphism so sexually dimorphic characters short and broad abdomen in the female cockroach long and narrow abdomen present in the male cockroaches then presence of brood pouch and absence of brood pouch in the male cockroaches presence of anal styles in the male cockroach and absence of anal styles in the female cockroach are some differences between the male and female cockroaches so today next uh, female reproductive system the female reproductive system of cockroach is present in the female cockroach it is present in the female cockroach and what are the reproductive organs female reproductive organs so female reproductive organs are the one pair of ovaries one pair of ovaries what are the male reproductive organs male reproductive organs are testis which produce the gametes like spermatozoa female reproductive organs are the ovaries ovaries are the female reproductive organs which playing an important role in the production of ova or eggs eggs are formed from the these ovaries so in the female cockroach one pair of ovaries are present one pair of ovaries are present right ovary left ovary one pair of ovaries are present in between the two to six abdominal segments okay in between the two to six abdominal segments right ovary between the two to six abdominal segment in the male cockroaches testes are present between the four to six segments but in the female cockroaches ovaries are present between the two to six abdominal segments then uh, ovary if you see the structure of one ovary this is an ovary it is embedded in the fat bodies ovaries are embedded in the fat bodies surrounding the ovaries there are many fat bodies fat bodies are present then each ovary each ovary each ovary that differentiated into the two parts okay each ovary that consists many ovarioles first they are consisting of ovarioles ovarioles or ovarian tubules eight ovarioles are present so this is one ovary it is ovarioles 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that eight ovarioles are present in the each ovary one ovary that consists eight ovarioles and each ovariole each ovariole that differentiated into two parts anterior part is called germarium anterior part is called germarium posterior part is called vital arium okay anterior germarium posterior vital arium two parts are present in the ovariole so this is one ovary and this one is called ovariole here to here this single this one is called ovariole each ovariole that differentiate into anterior part the anterior part is called germarium and posterior part is called vital arium germarium vital arium two parts are present in the each ovariole germarium so in the anterior germarium it is developing ova okay right it is developing ova developing ova these are immature ova next vital arium vital arium that consists the mature ova with some amount of yolk mature ova here developing ovas are present in the anterior germarium in the posterior vital arium mature ova that uh, also consists the yolk okay na two types of eggs are present uh, in the ovariole right ovaries one pair of ovaries are present uh, in the two to six abdominal segments each ovary that consists eight ovarioles and each ovariole that consists two parts called anterior germarium and posterior vital arium so germarium that consists developing ova and vital arium that consists uh, mature ova with some amount of yolk okay na reproductive organs female reproductive organs next uh, reproductive organs are the oviducts oviducts here each ovariole 
each ovariole all these ovarioles are unite to form a common duct which is called ovi duct here ovaries are present ovaries that consists the eggs eggs which are present in the ovaries are transported into the ovi ducts from both the sides okay na so all these all these ovarioles are unite to form one duct which is called ovi duct from both the sides okay na ovi duct so both the sides of ovi duct both the sides of ovi duct are unite in the center okay na in the middle of the body both the sides of ovi ducts are unite to form a common duct which is called vagina okay na it is called vagina the median duct is called vagina ovaries one pair of ovaries are present in the two to six abdominal segments then both the sides of ovaries having some ducts which are called ovi ducts both the sides of ovi ducts are unite to form unite to form vagina in the middle okay na then this vagina is opening into one pouch which is called brood pouch so this pouch is called brood pouch or genital pouch or genital chamber okay na vagina is opening into the it is opening opening into genital pouch it is opening into genital pouch okay na? through one pore which is called female genital pore this pore is called female genital pore where the female genital pore is present here this is a female genital pore actually it is the opening of vagina vagina both the sides of ovary ducts are unite to form vagina vagina is opening into the genital chamber through one pore which is called female genital pore this is called female genital pore that means here the ova which are present which are formed in the ovaries are transported into ovi duct ovi duct into vagina vagina into the female genital pore through this pore they are releasing into the genital chamber or into the brood pouch opening into the brood pouch okay na so this is the next part vagina then uh, other parts of female reproductive system so female reproductive system that also consists one spermatheca it also consists one spermatheca okay one pair one pair of spermatheca are present one pair of spermatheca are present so these are the sperma spermatheca on the wall of vagina that consists one pair of spermatheca so left spermatheca and right spermatheca left one and right one okay left one left one is sac like it is sac like which is functional it is functional left is sac like this one left one is sac like and it is functional which store the spermatozoa or spermatophores what is the function uh, it stores spermatophores what are spermatophores uh, group of spermatozoa called spermatophore so this spermatophore are stored in the left left spermatheca then right spermatheca is also present right spermatheca is filamentous right spermatheca is filamentous just like filament filamentous which is non functional it is non functional okay right spermatheca is non functional left spermatheca is sac like which is functional but right spermatheca is filamentous which is uh, non functional two spermatheca one pair of spermatheca are present what are the functions of spermatheca spermatheca store the spermatozoa in the form of uh, spermatophores then uh, one more type of organs are present which are called collateral glands collateral glands okay na collateral glands one pair of collateral glands are present these are the branched these branched glands are called collateral glands one pair of branched collateral glands are present lateral sides of the body they are also opening into the these are also opening into the genital pouch spermatheca is opening into genital pouch vagina is opening into genital pouch 
then collateral glands are also opening into the genital pouch okay now so all these are opening into the genital pouch then what are the functions of collateral glands how many collateral glands one pair one pair of collateral glands are present lateral sides of the body which are opening into the genital pouch so collateral glands that forms a hard egg case hard egg case hard egg case is formed which is called utica this hard egg case is called utica so here these are the eggs okay now six sixteen eggs sixteen eggs arranged in two rows around the sixteen eggs one hard egg case is found which is made up with the calcium carbonate this hard egg case is secreted by the collateral glands generally eggs are surrounding with one case okay now one case one hard egg case is present that hard egg case is found by the these are uh, collateral glands a collateral glands that secretes the hard egg case around the eggs so total 16 eggs are surrounding with one case which is called a uh, utica it is called utica right collateral glands one pair of collateral glands are present uh, lateral sides which are opening into the brood pouch function secretion of secretion of hard egg case which is called a uh, utica next part uh, next part in the female reproductive system next one gonapophysis 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 are called external genitalia or external genitalia okay now gonapophysis are the external genitalia the genital organs which are visible outside in the male cockroaches three genitalia three external genitalia are there right left and ventral already we discussed here three pairs that means six okay now six gonapophysis are present three pairs of gonapophysis are present three pairs of gonapophysis chitinous gonapophysis are present which helps in the copulation they are helping in the copulation so these are external genitalia gonapophysis are external genitalia these are three pairs three pairs and they helps in the copulation and they also acts as the ovipositors ovipositors they guide the ova they guide the ova transporting into the genital chamber okay now transporting into genital chamber they guide the ova so ovipositors they acts as the ovipositors gonapophysis okay <coughs> next uh, genital chamber genital chamber genital chamber is also called as brood pouch it is also called as brood pouch so this pouch this pouch is called brood pouch or genital chamber which is present in the female cockroach formed by the 7th 8th 9th sterna 7th sterna 7th sterna it is boat like 7th sterna is boat like it looks like this okay now seventh sterna is boat like which form the floor and side walls it form the floor and side walls eighth and ninth are tucked into the seventh one so eighth one then ninth one they are inserted into the seventh segment seventh boat like sterna okay now seventh one eighth one ninth one these three that forms a pouch which is called brood pouch seventh one is boat like which form the floor and side walls eighth one that form the anterior wall then ninth one that form the roof roof of the brood pouch ninth one that form the roof of the brood pouch so it form a, a pouch which is called brood pouch okay na it is called a brood pouch so brood pouch brood pouch is formed by the three segments three sterna which are called seventh sterna eighth sterna ninth sterna seventh sterna is boat like which form the floor and side walls then eighth sterna ninth sterna are inserted into the seventh one so eighth one that form the anterior wall 
ninth one that form the roof of the broad porch so what is the function of broad porch broad porch it helps in the it helps in the formation of the it helps in the copulation like uh, after copulation fertilization takes place in the broad porch fertilization okay now fertilization takes place in the broad porch so uh, it has two regions broad porch it has two regions anterior part is called gynatrium gynatrium and posterior chamber is called utical chamber utical chamber anterior gynatrium posterior utical chamber anterior part is called gynatrium posterior part is called utical chamber in the anterior gynatrium fertilization takes place okay now it is it uh, it takes place fertilization takes place in the anterior gynatrium then posterior utical chamber utica are formed utica are formed in the posterior utical chamber two regions two chambers are present in the two chambers are present in the genital chamber okay now so all these are the reproductive organs female reproductive organs just recall it female reproductive organs one pair of ovaries location is important where this ovaries are present uh, present between the two to six abdominal segments and each ovary that consists eight ovarioles each ovariole each ovariole that consists two parts anterior germarium posterior vital area germarium that consists developing ova then vital area that consists matured ova with yolk both the sides of ovaries are united to form a oviduct then both the sides are uh, oviducts are united to form a united to form ovaries are opening into oviduct both the sides oviducts are united to form the vagina vagina is opening into broad pouch then spermatheca one pair of spermatheca left one is sac like right one is filamentous left one is functional right one is a non functional and opening into the broad pouch then one pair of collateral glands lateral sides of the body which are opening into broad pouch which secretes hard egg cases then gonapophyses or phylomeres three pairs of gonapophyses or phylomeres are present which acts as ovipositor and helps in the copulation then broad pouch broad pouch is formed by the three sterna seventh eighth ninth sterna seventh one form floor and side walls eighth one anterior wall ninth one that form the roof of broad pouch which differentiate into two parts anterior gynatrium which helps in the fertilization okay now fertilization takes place in the anterior gynatrium utical chamber so formation of utica okay now formation of utica and storage of the that x occurs in the utical chamber here during the copulation okay in the life cycle of cockroach so during the copulation male cockroach that releases the spermatozoa into the female cockroach male cockroach releases the spermatozoa into female cockroach in the form of spermatophores that are received by the spermatheca spermatophores are spermatozoa received by the spermatheca so the spermatozoa or spermatophores which are present in the spermatheca they are stored they are stored in the spermatheca then uh, after maturation that uh, male re female reproductive organs produce a ova these ovas are transported from ovaries into oviduct oviduct into the vagina vagina into the brood pouch they are releasing into brood pouch at the same time the spermatozoa which are present in the spermatheca are also releasing into brood pouch they are also releasing into brood pouch so fertilization takes place in the anterior part which is called gynatrium okay anterior chamber gynatrium fertilization takes place after fertilization around the eggs here 16 eggs are arranged in two rows around the 16 eggs one hard egg case is formed around the 16 eggs one hard egg case is formed by the collateral glands which are called utica now these are called utica total 9 to 10 utica are formed 9 to 10 utica and each utica that consists 16 eggs and 16 eggs are arranged in two rows 8 plus 8 two rows 
so in two rows 16x are present 9 to 10 nautica are formed in the genital chamber this 9 to 10 nautica are stored in the genital chamber and they are releasing into moist soil they are releasing into the moist soil then the fertilization takes place inside the body but development takes place outside the body inside the utica so during the development first it uh, goes the first stage which is called marula marula stage marula stage into the blastula blastula stage into the gastrula okay the blastula into gastrula stage then in the gastrula stage layers are formed finally that produces one young cockroach which is called nympha okay it produces one young cockroach which is called nympha so nymph and cockroach adult cockroach both are same looking same but small differences are there it is small in size nymph means small in size and wings are reduced and reproductive organs are not developed okay and those are the differences nymph is very small in size without wings and reproductive organs are immature reproductive organs are present so it undergoes the development nymph undergoes a metamorphosis okay now nymph undergoes the moultings it undergoes the moultings what is the meaning of molting uh, molting is also called as ecdysis okay and it is also called as ecdysis so this is nymph surrounding the nymph one uh, exoskeleton is present shedding of exoskeleton is called molting first molting it grows in size again that shedding of the exoskeleton second molting it grows in size like that so it undergoes of 14 moldings it undergoes of 14 moldings during the life cycle so x are fertilized with the spermatozoa okay ovas are fertilized with the spermatozoa then zygote are formed zygote matures into the marula blastula gastrula then they develop the young cockroach which is called nympha so nymph undergoes the uh, nymph undergoes the 13 moldings not 14 13 moldings so it undergoes the 13 moldings after 13 moldings that uh, nymph that develops into the develops into the adult cockroach adult cockroaches are formed we can see that small cockroaches the small cockroaches uh, are called nymph it undergoes the 13 moldings after 13 molding it develops into the adult cockroach so development development of cockroach is called parametabolous development parametabolous parametabolous development so why it is called parametabolous development development is gradual development is very slow development is gradual through the nymphal stages okay now through the nymphal stages through the nympha development is gradual very slow process it is very slow process development is gradual through the nymphal stages so it is called parametabolous development male cockroaches and female cockroaches then release the pheromones for attraction so male cockroach attract the female cockroach then copulation takes place after copulation spermatozoa are transported into the spermatica okay na? then uh, spermatozoa are releasing into brood pouch fertilization takes place in the brood pouch after fertilization utica are formed this utica are releasing into moist soil they are releasing into soil then development takes place inside the utica like blastula gastrula nymph nymph undergoes the 13 moldings after 13 moldings it matures into the adult one okay na? so it develops into the adult one na? this is life history of a cockroach reproductive system of cockroach and life history of cockroach so periplaneta americana type study cockroach type study is completed okay na? thank you